Good uh, afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Ariana Torres, and I'm an assistant professor at Purdue. I'm also a Zamorano alumna. I graduated from Zamorano in 2006 and came to Purdue in 2008. So I want to talk to you a little bit about our history of Zamoranos here at Purdue University. Started in the early 1990s, so about 1995, we had the same uh, Zamorano alumni who came as an intern to Purdue. And he worked in the area of food science. Um, in between the 1990s and 2000, we had about two to three interns. And they actually later on are typically moving to either grad school or they are getting into the industry job. Up until 2003, when we had probably uh, one of the most accomplished Samarano interns at Purdue uh, was uh, Cynthia Machado. And she came to work in the Department of Food Science with Dr. Suzanne Nielsen. Uh, she was, uh, she well, got her master's, got her PhD and had worked for several companies in the food science industry. Currently, we have a very active association that in the early, late, late 2000, we had um, even a symposium where we invited a lot of Zamoranos who are working in the United States. We are currently an association of almost 30 Zamoranos, and that includes faculty, staff, master's students, PhD students, and we tend to receive every year between 10 to 11 Zamorano interns. Our goal as an association is to support interns, masters, PhD students, and actually any Zamorano who may come to Purdue or may stop by Purdue. So we're gonna provide them with support, transportation, but also the network, the tight network that we are characterized by. Uh, a lot of the things that we do is also support those interns so they transition into grad school. We have a very successful model in which a lot of Zamorano interns that come from a diversity of countries in Latin America, most countries of Latin America are represented at Zamorano in Honduras. Uh, they are coming here to do a short internship, do research uh, as an undergraduate student or as, an, a graduate stu as, an, as, a, as a bachelor's for a few months. And they later take the GRE and apply for grad school. So our model is very successful because most of the students, over 50% of the students who come for a master's for an internship end up in a master's program, either here at Purdue or in other universities. So I invite you all to look into the Zamorano University website and look at opportunities uh, for you to visit, but also understand what is what makes a university, our university um, very prestigious and why it's, it's considered the most uh, prestigious agricultural university in Latin America. So with that, I wanted to say, um, hope you all enjoy it and thank you.